Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the conversion of aldehydes and ketones to cyanohydrins. Uh, we're going to talk about the mechanism first and we'll talk about some applications in, in a moment. Uh, and as I have been doing in this series of videos, and honestly in this whole whole length of videos, I'm going to start with acetone uh, at, uh, as my prototypical uh, aldehyde or ketone. And the reagents used here are potassium cyanide and hydrogen cyanide. And the uh, product looks like this. Oops. Not, no, not xenon. That'd be cool, but no. All right, looks like this. And this thing's called a cyanohydrate. Okay, so... Um, how does this work? Right? We've got potassium cyanide, hydrogen cyanide, and you might be really tempted to start off with a proton transfer, but no, curb your enthusiasm. Don't, don't do what I am uh, about to, to do, right? That uh, because I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna draw them. We're gonna talk about it, uh, but don't do it. And honestly, I'd be just nervous about doing this reaction in its entirety because we are, we're dealing with hydrogen cyanide, which is a gas, which is toxic, which is death. And this this reaction, if done poorly, is death. Uh, but here we are. Um, this is not the first step of the reaction. This proton transfer uh, or this acid base reaction I've drawn is not at all. Uh, PKA of uh, hydrogen cyanide is like, actually, uh, I've just lost that. Hold on, I can go. Let me look it up really quickly. Uh, PKA of the protonated ketone, however, is negative three, so it is a super duper strong acid. I'm looking up the PKA of hydrogen cyanide because I like totally blanked on it. PKA, uh, it's going to be close. 9.2. Oh. And here, right? So there is a 12 PKA unit difference, which means that the equilibrium lies, the equilibrium constant is 10 to the 12th, which in your terms are 10 to the minus 12th, uh, and, and it's in favor of the, the reactants by a whole, 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 whole bunch. So, no. Don't do this. This is not the first step of the mechanism. The first step of the mechanism is nucleophilic attack. Since we have what amounts to an incredibly weak acid. I mean, this would be like if we were talking about forming a hydrate and we were in water uh, and water would be deprotonated by the, the, the carbonyl compound. It's not happening, right? First step is nucleophilic attack. So this is a very, this is a, a nucleophilic addition mechanism following the sort of strong base, strong nucleophile characteristic. I've been I've been putting my oxygen here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna condense the nitro. I'm not gonna draw the CN double bond. And there's our alkoxide anion. Now, however, we have something that is basic enough to deprotonate the. Uh, hydrogen cyanide. And I mentioned this reaction is death. Like, like you have, you have to be well prepared and have special protective equipment, know what you're doing and have all sorts of traps and like, don't do this. All right. Now you get the, the hydrogen cyanide and it regenerates uh, another cyanide anion. So technically it's catalytic in potassium cyanide. Uh, and up there you have it. All right. Nucleophilic attack proton transfer. Generally, about any aldehyde or ketone uh, can can be made into its cyanohydrin. Let's talk a little bit about uh, applications of cyanohydrins. 
uh, generally, if you can make something into a cyanohydrin, then perhaps one of the most powerful uses of, of that is to then convert the nitrile functional group that you just made into another uh, functional group, because the nitrile group is can be converted into means, carboxylic acids, other, other things. And let's see. Uh, here we go. OH and C. So one of the cool things that you can do here is that the nitrile can be reduced with lithium aluminum hydride. Uh, at this point, we shouldn't be surprised that lithium aluminum hydride reduces a functional group. I know the alcohol reacts with lithium aluminum hydride. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna re we're gonna just it'll 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 be okay. We use excess lithium aluminum hydride. It'll be okay. So we can reduce it from lithium aluminum hydride, and what that does is it, it reduces this thing to the primary amine. Uh, and in, in a video series coming up on the reaction, other re reactions of carboxylic acid derivatives, we'll learn that we can also react them with Grignard reagents and uh, some other uh, some other things. Um, then there is the, let's just, let's just use the same cyanohydrin. Uh, these can also be hydrolyzed. If we use, you know, aqueous acid, we can convert the cyanohydrin in, or the, cyan, the, the nitrile group into a carboxylic acid. Oof. That's a cool thing that can be done as well, um, and, and certainly the, the the alcohol functional group provides an opportunity to do other chemistry on compounds like this. Uh, and then here's a really cool compound, or here's a really cool reaction that can be done on primarily benzaldehyde and other aromatic aldehydes. Though there's there's some ways that this can can be be sneaky. We're going to talk about the benzoin condensation. Uh, and, and so it's called the benzoin condensation because this is how you make benzoin. It's not the only way you can make benzoin, but it's certainly one way that you can make uh, benzoin. And so if you start with uh, benzaldehyde and a cyanide source, but we're not going to add. We're not going to add potassium. We're not going to add hydrogen cyanide. Uh, we don't add hydrogen cyanide. So we just have the cyanide anion. I'm going to go find myself a cyanide anion instead of redrawing it. We get nucleophilic attack at the carbonyl group. So we're on our way to uh, forming. You know, potassium and, and base. So this reaction needs base. So let's let's uh, let's do KCN. We'll we'll put it in water, and may, maybe we'll do potassium hydroxide as well. We need some base because of of what's going to happen next. We need water. Oops. Instead of having hydrogen cyanide, we've got. We've got this uh, anion. We do. We are going to form the the cyanohydrin. Uh, here we go. Paste. And it's here that things start to get interesting, right? This hydrogen here is kind of acidic. Uh, it's next to an electron withdrawing group in the nitrile. So there's resonance here. The OH group is electron drawing by induction. I, I know we typically think of it as electron donating by resonance, but it's electron withdrawing by, by, by induction. And so it can be this hydrogen can be deprotonated 
make uh, the following carbanion. Well, that was a copy paste fail. To make this following here, this carbanion. Uh, and the carbanion is resonance stabilized through the nitrile. Uh, and then this resonance stabilized anion can behave as a nucleophile. And attack another molecule of benzaldehyde. Uh, this is a cool reaction, so I'm... I'm taking some time on it. Another molecule of benzaldehyde. And so what we have here is OH, O, oh, and we've got, I got my nitrile, and I've got, this is an anion. Almost done. Uh, and we'll see what it, what it looks like at the end here. Almost done here. I want to move some stuff over. I'm trying to get things up and out of my portrait. Uh, or, or, you know, my video of my head. So this thing gets protonated. And the other alcohol gets deprotonated. I'm not going to show all of those arrows because I'm, I'm pressed for space. But I, hopefully by this point you, you can draw some proton transfers using water and hydroxide. And then we get a loss of leaving group where the cyanide is. And the product of this reaction is right here, and this is benzoin. So this is, a, this is kind of a nifty application of the cyanohydrin thing uh, where it requires the aromatic ring. I forgot to mention like some of the resonance stabilization is, is the anion actually is, is also part of the aromatic ring. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, this is just a perfect scenario, um, but it is possible to get other electrophiles snuck in here instead of another molecule of benzaldehyde, depending on the situation. So uses cyanohydrin as, an, as a means to an end, uh, making it a nucleophile to attack another aldehyde. This concludes my uh, series of video, or this concludes my video on uh, cyanohydrins. Thank you for watching.